So you just bought a brand new computer, whether it's a Windows computer or a Mac device, you need to make an account to access the many programs Windows and Mac have to offer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the Windows OS or the Mac OS to make an account. So first of all, we have to determine which type of computer you have. If you have, if your computer runs on Windows operating system, which is essentially any brand of Dell, HP, or any, any laptop or computer brand app outside of Mac, like Apple computers, then they run Windows. Anything that runs Apple OS, maybe MacBooks, um, MacBooks and other Apple products, they use Apple OS. So first, I'm going to go through how to make an account on a Windows device. So first thing for the Windows devices, there's a small taskbar at the bottom of the screen of every single Windows device. You're going to go to the bottom left corner, and you're going to hit the little Windows icon. It will hover over, and it'll say Start. So once you hit that, you go to the... start menu you're brought to the start menu and you have a whole bunch of things whether it's apps whether it's hyperlinks all sorts of stuff but you're going to want to highlight on the little taskbar on the far left there will be a small little gear icon and it will say settings you want to click that and then you will be brought to the settings menu once you're in the settings menu you're going to navigate to the accounts option which has this little person right here. Once you're in the accounts menu, you're going to look down on this little panel of items and you're going to select family and other users. Once you're in that menu, you're gonna navigate over to this screen. If you, let's just say you want to make like a family uh, system you can add family members to your laptop, but for singular purposes here, we're just going to go to other users and we're going to add a singular person. So we're going to navigate over to here and we're going to select add someone else to this PC. So once you're in there, once you click that option, you're, this is this screen is going to be brought up. You enter a username, it can be like your first or last name, or it can be like a little like nickname and you enter a password. Make sure the password you select is something that you can remember because the process to reset and if you don't remember your password, the process to reset and try and log back in is very long and very, very, very difficult. But once all those are set, you're good on a Windows device. Let's look at the same process for Macs. So on a Mac device, Instead of having the taskbar at the bottom of the screen, as per Windows, you have it at the top of the screen. So at the top, you're going to find this little Apple icon here. And you're going to go to System Preferences. Once you get to the System Preferences menu, you're, there's a little sidebar. And in that sidebar, you're going to select Users and Groups. After that's selected, the screen with all different accounts, if your computer has like different accounts on it, will show. But... If you have a completely new computer, more than likely nothing's gonna show up. So you wanna just add an account. And these are the three options that you're tasked with once you press that add account option. You have an administrator which can add, delete accounts, can oversee the installation of different apps and they're essentially the all seers eyes for the entire every single account for a, com a computer a standard account they are essentially users set up by by an administrator they can install apps and change their own settings but they can't do the same they can't add other users or do the same for other users so more than likely if you're on a new device it's the best option to pick an administrator just so you're able to, you know, re-add because all Mac computers need at least one admin account. So once you go to that, once you select your, um, your account type, 
it'll be up here, new account, whether it's standard, admin, and you put in your full name, you put in a preferred account username, so it can be different, it can be similar to your full name, you put in your password like Windows, you verify it, and you're all good to go. So that was how to make an account on Windows and Mac devices.